again I want to show you a couple new features in Word such as selecting a couple of the words and show you some formatting options like the bullets and numbering options that we have available and our line spacing. First thing I want to do is go over a couple options that you can do for selecting a word or a phrase within Microsoft Word. If you bring your mouse over any word within a document and you take your mouse and double click, you just click click, it will select that word. So all I do is I double click and it selects the word. That's a simple control that most programs will allow you to select a word that way. Sometimes you might have to select the whole paragraph. So if you have a good finger and you have it, you know, you can click a couple times. Well, if you click three times in a paragraph, it will select the whole paragraph itself. So if you go in and you click three times in a row, it will select the whole paragraph. Why would you want to select the whole paragraph? Because maybe you want to modify it. You might want to change the font size just for that paragraph. You know, it really depends on what you want to do with that. Another shortcut that I use a lot is to select a sentence. If you bring your mouse over a sentence, I will take my control key and I will click. When I do this, it will select the entire sentence. Holding down the control key and all you have to do is click. If you're going to select another sentence, you have to deselect first by clicking somewhere else and then take the control key and click again. That will select a sentence. So that gives you kind of an idea on some of the shortcut keys that you might need to do for selecting. Um, the, another thing you can do, I'm going to select these three paragraphs and I'm just going to come right before the O and O and I'm just going to drag straight down. That's another way you can drag and drop. This is a drag and drop te technique. I'm going to go in and show you how to format the line spacing of these paragraphs. To format the line spacing, you have to be on the Home tab, and you're going to go to the Paragraph section. Up here in the Paragraph section, we have these little this icon that will say Line Spacing. You can go and change by default. It should be set to be one line space itself. You can set it to be double space if you wanted to by just clicking on the 2.0. And on the map, it will take whatever you have selected. The key is it has to be selected. And once it's selected, you change the line spacing to what you need it to be. So I can change it back to one, or I can change it to one and a half. And again, all I'm doing here is going right to the paragraph section and changing the line spacing. Another feature that we have here, and this is just a resume um, that it was uh, it's not for anybody. It's just a default resume that I created for to show you some examples. I'm going to add some formatting and I decided what I want to do is up in my header section I want to put in the phone number um, of, of who this gentleman is. And the, what a header and footer section is in Microsoft Word is that the header will appear on every page of the document. And the same thing with the footer. The footer will appear at the very bottom of every page in the document. Most of the time you're going to find things that are placed in the footer is like a page number. And in headers, usually you find things such as uh, uh, maybe the title of the book or the chapter that you're reading. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a header. To do this, we need to go to the Page Layout tab to insert the header. And what you can do here in the Page Layout, uh, I'm sorry, you have to go to the Insert tab to insert the header and over here on the right you'll find that there's a header footer section. You can automatically insert a default header template by clicking on one of the options that you have here. There are a variety of different types of templates you can choose from. I'm going to go in and um, when I'm looking down here at the bottom um, I'm going to choose this one that has little circles here and I'm going to click up here and automatically notice how it goes to the header section. Now the style I chose told it to appear on the second page and let's look what happens up here at the very top. Once I insert the header itself it goes to the design tool ribbon bar and the design ribbon bar, you can make some changes to it. So let me, uh, I'm going to undo this. 
I'm going to come back up. I'm going to, go to insert. I'm going to click on header. I'm just going to do a blank one this time. Automatically, notice, look what happens here. It says first page header, and it has information where I can type in what I need. So if I want to type in my phone number or any text, I can do so. Now what happens here if I go if I start working with this I can also go down here to the bottom of the first page and actually enter in a footer section. So by default what's happening here is that Microsoft Office has this section for you that you can insert at the top of your page as well as the bottom of your page and that's called a header and footer. That was, you can get there by clicking on the insert tab and choosing the header and footer option. Another thing that's common that most people like to do is that when you have a list of items that sometimes it's better to apply what we call bullets or numbering to it. So for example underneath National Sales Manager I have three lines of text. What I want to do is I want to highlight these three lines of text and I'm going to make it in a bulleted information or apply bullet bullets to it. When you apply bullets to it, it helps make it a little bit more readable because most people can say, oh, you know, they can see the each individual line. Our bullets are back on our home tab, our home ribbon, and if we come over in the paragraph section, we have three, we have these options right up here at the top. I'm just going to click on the bullet button and it basically goes in and adds the bullets. If you don't want bullets and you want numbers, you can click on the numbered list. It'll go one, two, three. I can go back, click on bullets, and it goes back to bullets. So all you have to do is highlight the list that you want, click on the bullet button or the numbered button, and automatically apply it. There's a little drop down list right beside the bullets. If I click on this, I can actually choose a different style bullet. So if I want to be squares, I can actually automatically change it to squares. I can also go in and change it to a, a check mark if I wanted to, which is a nice little feature. <clears throat> you can also go in and define a new bullet. So if you don't see any style that you like, you can actually come down here to define new bullet. And you can insert a picture as a bullet if you wanted to. If I click on the picture button, it'll open up a little dialog box where I can insert a picture bullet. And it's a little slow here installing, but there's a variety of different bullets that will come up that are called picture bullets. I'm going to choose this one right here, and um, all I'm going to do is click OK. I'm going to click OK one more time, and now it's a picture bullet. So all I'm doing here is I'm highlighting my text, I'm coming up here and clicking on the bullet button, and notice it remembered the actual picture, I used that picture bullet, and it remembers the last one that you just used. So to apply bullets or numbering, the easiest thing to do is highlight the list and click on one of the numbers, the one of the buttons up here at the top. If you want to choose a numbered list, you can do so, and notice that when I click on the drop down list, you can actually choose ABC, Roman numerals, and you can also do it in lowercase. This is great, especially if you're creating an outline and you need to do it for a report. So you can actually go in and customize it. The next thing over here on the right, which is a multi-level list, most people will use this for their outline sections because it will indent automatically the second level of, uh, of your bullet for you working with. So all we're doing here is just taking a look on you know, a couple minor things, how to select some words in your document, how to modify by adding a header and footer, and adding bullets and numbering to your uh, Word document.